recording so in today's class what we discuss storage before i move on to the vmware storage i want to understand how means means simple server is there no one server is there hp dl 380 gen 10 okay so it has around 6 hard disk or 8 hard disk in the front 3 4 5 6 8 hard drives at front loaded so i want to use these hard drives into my customer environment okay so i never specified this hardware will be installed with windows or linux or esxi doesn't matter okay i can install windows i can install linux i can install esxi 6.7 whichever but i want to utilize all these hard drives so what options we have if i said i want to install operating system that operating system and go and sit on these drives only is there any other alternate way hello speak out quickly hello yeah is there any alternate way where you will save your operating system or where you will deploy your operating system in short hard disk yes now i want to understand what type of hard disk you have in the market type of hard disk you have in the market uh, sata ssd and uh, usb no sata correct ssd is also correct not usb there is another type of drive called sas there are three types of drives in the market getting my point sata <coughs> 7000 200 rpm. rpm means the motor speed is 7300 200 times per minute sas you have two variants here 10000 and 15000 rpm means in short both are having magnetic disk and motor in ssd any idea what is the rpm hmm? no sir vivek in your pen drive is there any motor yes hmm? use the usb drive pen drive uh, only only chip is there yes similarly SSD is only chip. There is no RPM associated with it. There is no motor, there is no magnetic disk. It is just a magnetic, sorry, electronic chip. Okay. So, when it comes to fastness, let me see what Google says. saying some mongodb <coughs> 4k workloads sata 
as NVMe or PCI NVMe. What is that? Temporary RAM, non volatile memory express. So let's skip that for now. Let's understand the performance of these drives at least first. Costing, I need at least a small matrix, man. Giving the matrix, no benchmarks. Let's see. Someone is, someone tried something. SSD, HDD, SSD, read. GD read 300 ops 3000 ops okay SSD write around 2500 compared to the block size okay so SGD write so 300 3000 10 times faster it looks like And also, if you use 256 KB block size, at least. Oh my God, 4 KB blocks, 100 times. And 600 or something, 1000. Okay, three times or four times faster than your HDD over SSD. as per this picture let's see someone says something else samsung read write read write read write max iops max write max read max write okay but i'm not getting what i'm trying to find out let's leave it don't spend so much of time okay let's say if you are getting this just an Lehman example. I'm not saying it's exact prices. If it is thousand rupees, okay, it might be fifteen hundred. It might be two thousand five hundred. Okay, if it is performing at one x, it might be one point five x speed, and it might be three x. If it capacity level, capacity level, ten TB. Let's say it will support huge capacity. Slow but support huge capacity. SAS 4 TB commonly used public, 1 TB for 250 GB, 1 TB, 2 TB, whatever the drives. Okay, 2 TB or 4 TB depending on the business requirement, but I've seen most of the times 250 GB hard drives and 500 GB hard drives per SSD per <clears throat> what I can say mixed kind of rates configurations mixed kind of rate configurations in the sense you will have SSDs and SAS drives in the same same uh, what I can say controller okay so in this server I said eight hard drives are there okay now I'm planning to install ESXi. ESXi. Okay, so what kind of drives you should insert here? Any idea? <coughs> Vivek? Sir, uh, SATA hard drive. I said SATA is really slow, man. You are, are you looking for a high performance solution or a cheap solution? Uh, if um, faster requirement, SSD is uh, requirement. Okay, mixed kind of requirement, liberal kind of thing. Then? Uh, yes, yes, SAS. 
SAS drives. Okay, based on the performance and based on the <coughs> costing and based on the requirement, you you can use any of these three. But globally, only these are the types that are available to store your data. I agree on this point. Yes. Sir. Okay. So in this in this server, I can insert. Let me mark green ones as a green ones as a SSDs and the red ones as a SAS. Okay. I purchase the device like this. Okay. Two SSDs are there and six SAS drives are there. Both SSDs are of 150 GB each. 150 GB each. Okay. And rest of the SAS drives, all the six drives are 1 TB each. Example. Okay, just to understand how it works. Okay. Aim is aim is I don't want to install Windows, I don't want to install Linux, I want to install ESXi. Now <clears throat> you understand the right concepts? Well, up probably in the first class. Maybe you guys have seen the videos. First, second or first or second session. Not seen that video. Uh, first one. Rate zero. What is rate zero? Rate zero means uh, two hard disk insert in uh, server. Okay. Rate zero striping. Rate one mirroring. Okay. Means I have a two SSDs. So can I configure? these two drives into one logical drive by using RAID 1. RAID 1 is the data mirroring. Means if you create a logical drive using RAID 1, okay, you will get logical drive 0. Just an example. Okay, of size. How much size? 150 GB only. Clear? Yes. Okay. 150 GB only. Now I have another six another six drives. I will not touch them. Or what I will do? I will I will create all the six drives in such a way. I will use RAID 5. RAID 5 means parity. N minus 1. 5 minus, sorry, 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 equal to 5 drives. 5 drives. So you will get 5 TB space. 1 TB is invisible. In this, out of 6, Using RAID 5, if you configure RAID 5, you will get another logical drive called 1, logical drive 1 with 5 TB capacity. 1 TB is invisible because that will be used for parity. Okay. Now, logical drive 0, mirroring means if you are saving something on this drive, same thing will be saved on the other drive as well so that on the front end you will get only 150 gb visible because you are maintaining two copies of data in two different disk you getting my point okay now on this server if i power on and install the esxi you mount the esxi you click next and when you're trying to install it it will go and discover hardware remember the step Hello. <coughs> Hello. First video ESXI instruction yes. and configuration. 
you have you remember yes, the yes. step or you want me to show show you that as well uh, no okay you you mounted the iso and you powered on the host and it will start mounting your iso and it will load the esxi and it will discover the drives and it will show you two drives two drives one is 150 gb another one is 5 tb two drives two logical drives logical drive zero or logical drive one just for your understanding i'm explaining okay so you have to select any one to install the operating system or if i said operating system you install the hypervisor okay so which hard drive you will select to install the operating system logical zero logical zero yes so you select this and click next 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 finish or it will say uh, select the network interface this and that everything and press f11 to install agree yes. okay if you press f11 to install it will copy the iso file data and it will install it on this logical drive means your esxi is installed on this drive also on this drive on the both the drives clear yes okay once you reboot your disk you can unmount this iso file and you will see esxi will be booted from this logical drive okay still out of this logical drive only 8 gb or 7 gb space is used and you will see somewhere around 140 gb free you getting my point yes okay we have tested you, you can uh, revisit the first video i created the virtual machine with 15 gb okay and install the esxi once the installation is done, what you can do if you re reboot the ESXi host and try to log in into ESXi host from browser inside the browser at the storage level, you will see 7.5 GB is free out of 15 GB. 7.5 is used for ESXi installation and rest of the 7.5 GB is available on the screen. You can watch the first video. Okay, sir. You want me to show <coughs> show that okay so let me go to yes how to install and configure esxi okay so machine is created you, you can see my screen right yes yes so once it is loaded just watch it you see in this screen in this screen in this example in this example you will see two lines one is 150 gb instead of 15 gb logical local local right okay these are the logical drives in real time okay one in this 15 gb you will see 150 gb and another one is 5 tb two lines will be there Okay, so you select the 15 GB one means you selected 150 GB. Okay, at the end, if you log in after the installation, after the installation, if you look at the storage, after you reboot and log in, you look at the storage, you see 7.5 GB is free. Out of 15, 7.5 is gone. Only 7.5 is available for your usage out of which 1.4 is used by something something means uh, this format format and overhead everything is gone and you see 6 gb is usable usable available to your production in this example so in this example out of 150 8 gb is gone and 4 gb let's say overhead for a formatting and stuff you will see 140 gb at this space free 
140 GB. You are getting my point. What I'm trying to explain? Yes. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Okay. Now, I have one more hard drive, one more logical hard drive, which will not show you here. Okay. If I go to storage, if I go to storage. Have some local storage here. Okay, if I go to ESXi host data stores, only one thing is there 7.5 GB, 7.75 GB. Okay, so at first stage, this second logical drive is there. No one, it will not be shown over here, it will not be shown over here. So for that, what you have to do, you have to format the logical drive and use it in VMware understandable format. What is that VMware understandable format? Okay, you have a Windows server or a Windows laptop, Windows 10. What is the file system format? FS. Empty FS. FS. Okay. <clears throat> any any other file system formats that you are aware of? Uh, in Linux, uh, EXT. Linux, EXT five. Right. Yes. In uh, Windows, FAT thirty two. Anything else that you are aware? I think VMware VMDK. No, 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 that's wrong. Okay, in Windows, there is another file system called REFS Resilient File System, the new one from I guess 2012 or 16. They introduced. Okay, okay, okay. so th these are the few file systems we have, and in Linux. We have a file system ext5 and in uh, ax aix you have a file system called jfs journaling file system jfs right okay similarly vmware has a file system format called what is the file system format MFS. Remember. Okay. BMFS is the file system format. Understood? Or any confusion? Just like your Windows. Okay. VMware also has a own file system format called VMFS. <clears throat> okay. Let's keep all these things aside. What this file system format will do, or what this file system will do? I have a laptop with laptop with one TB HDD. Okay, if I log in into the laptop, I can see one TB drive. But I, I'm I'm saying this is already formatted. What is formatting? What do you mean by formatting? File system uh, creation. What it will do? Okay, basically, you said you have a three types of disk in the market. Disk is disk is used to save the data. In which format? Zeros and ones, zeros and ones, right? So, Windows file system has a certain format called NTFS okay whoever has designed this the logic is it will override the those zeros and ones and it will prepare the platform where windows can save the data anywhere and windows can read the data easily windows only can understand how to save it how to read it from that file system understood yes Okay, fine, keep it. Same hard disk, I'm not using Windows, I'm using Linux operating system. 
So Linux has something different algorithm called ext5, right? Is the file system format. What it will do using this algorithm or its file system, it will format the drive and it will keep ready for their external usage. So that in Linux operating system, sorry, Linux operating system can easily read and write data from hard drive, which Linux can understand easily. Understood? Yes. Okay. Now the same thing, same thing, same hard drive. I have, I have hard drive. I have VMware. ESXi 6.7 is the system <clears throat> or you treat this as the OS. Now what it will do, it will format that 150 GB hard drive is there now. It will format everything in VMFS format. VMFS means virtual machine file system. Just understand that VMware can understand. Okay, it will format everything in VMware understandable format called VMFS and it has also some versions VMFS 5, VMFS 6, VMFS 4 is a file system format. Okay, so in 6.7, what is the VMFS? VMFS. Several versions of VMFS file system have been released since the introduction of ESXi. VMFS 3, 5, and 6. Okay, so 6 supports. What all the things that 6 supports? They gave you clear cut in the instructions. What all the things that it can support? Okay. So I'll not go in, in detail, but understand this is. VMware readable or VMware writable format where VMware understand how to keep the data in organized way using VMFS. Clear? So in this example, zero is already formatted and out of which 8 GB is already used and remaining 140 GB is also formatted in VMFS 6 format and it will be added back to your system when you log in. But this 1 TB is still raw disk, sorry, uh, 5 TB. Logical drive 1 with 5 TB is still raw, raw format, raw disk, raw logical drive. It is not formatted. So how to do the formation, how to format the drive? Let's see. Let's say, for example, I have I have one ESXi which you built this one. Let me power on. Okay, so ESXi is installed on a physical new drive. Okay, and it is it is the brand new ESXi which you built last last week. Oh, maybe yeah, last weekend, right? You practiced how to install and configure ESXi. Okay, so this, the, the new one which you built, I said I have two logical drives. One is already formatted, another one is another one is there. So not, not 5 TB, it is just 8 GB in my lab practice. Remember. Okay. In real time, you might see the higher numbers, big storage based on the customer requirement or high huge amount of storage based on the customer requirement. But in my lab, it is 8 GB. Okay. So let's see how to add it. So I have a new host called Quarter.51. So what I will do, I'll keep this aside. I will not touch this. I will create new cluster.
okay development cluster it is there now now add a host what is the host name 192.168.40.51 right one host discovered this is the hash key 6.7 esxi finish host is added your host is added here the new one exit from maintenance mode initially it put in a maintenance mode now you have host so I want to find out data stores no data stores nothing zero but if I check other ESXi host it is there no Okay, but in this host, there is nothing. So, what is data store? First of all, before I move on to discussion, what is data store? A data store is a manageable storage entity usually used as a repository for virtual machine files including logs, scripts, configuration file, disk and so on and so on. Long description. Okay. So how to explain it in our, in our way? You have a raw disk. Okay. Install a Windows and login into the server. You will see C drive. Okay. What is this C drive? The disk, right? Call it as drive. Agree or disagree? Yes, yes. Local disk. Right? Devices and drives. Local disk. Similarly, you have a hard drive. You install the ESXi. Okay. And login. You will see that the free space as a separate separated drive okay the same drive it, it doesn't have any name C D E F G H. there's no such names you can give whatever the name that you want to give okay so uh, data store is a technical word one you have another disk format it and use it you call it as data store two but it is hard to remember, right? How you remember drive one, drive two, drive three? So that is the reason if you log in into my original lab, okay, and go to storage, even it is hard for me to for remember. So what I did, SATA non-SSD drive, I, I named as SATA, SATA data store. SSD with 500 GB, I formatted as a SSD. There is another SSD, which is 120 GB formatted as a SSD2 so that I can easily understand. But if you look at the type, I have reformatted this recently by using VMFS 6 because I am using ESXi 6.5. Okay, for each version, the associated VMFS file system version will be there. If you are using 6.0, you, you will get VMFS 5. If you are using 6.0, you will get VMFS 5. If you are using 6.5 or 6.7, you will get VMFS 6. So these two drives I formatted long back when I'm using this host in version 6.0. So that is the reason why they are still working as VMFS 5 format. This is just a format. It has some limitations and features and additional features along with the version that we will we can discuss in documentation. Okay, that we can review and discuss in official documentation part. But understand every every disk you can format and use it as a data store. Technical word is data store. Under data store, you will have all your storage. Okay. So now 
this logical drive one how many disk in the back end in this logical drive how many disk in the back end come on guys fast six six okay so six disk you created one logical drive if you format and use it in vmware you will see one data store with 5 tb but this data store is combination of six different hard drives in the back end that you have to remember agree disagree yes means yes, yes. inside this data store if you place any data it can go and sit anywhere on these six drives you never know okay system is intelligent enough to save the data anywhere means you saved one gb okay this 1 GB is split into 100 MB, 100 MB, 100 MB, 10 100 MB blocks. Example, okay, Lehman, Lehman example. So 100 MB can be saved here, another can be here, another can be here, another can be here, and so on like this. All the six drives will be <coughs> saved with 100, 100 MB. Okay, some of the drives will have 200 MB. So when you are accessing this 1 GB data, again, all the drives will read the data and hand over to you. This is how it works in the backend. Agree? Yes. Okay. Now, can I create, like, for, for example, I have some empty slots here. Empty slots here. How many empty slots? How many hard drives that internal uh, server can support or server can support how many maximum number of drives? Up to 16. 16. Okay. Out of 16, 8 is already used. And you got the approval from your business. You purchased another eight drives, another eight drives, and you created another logical drive with eight drives. Another logical drive with eight drives. All are one TB. Now, how much how much space you will get in logical drive two? This is logical drive two, right? Zero, one, and two. This this logical drive has eight disk in the back end. Okay, what is the usable space? I'm using RAID uh, 5. First one. I'm using RAID 5. RAID 5 means N minus 1. N minus 1 means N minus 1 means 8 minus 1. 8 minus 1 means 7 TB is the logical drive size. Vivek, you're getting what I'm trying to explain here. Hello. Hello. Are you <clears throat> are you getting it? What I'm trying to explain? Yeah, actually I lost the connection. Uh, then I again joined from phone. So I missed some part, but uh, I'm getting. Okay, fine. Yeah. Please concentrate, and you can watch the video later. That's not an issue. Okay. Just a more of theory concepts only. I'm not doing any labs. Yeah. Okay. So I'm saying okay. your HP HP server has a 16 slots. Initially, you purchased eight out of eight, two are SSD, six are SATA, sorry, SAS, and you already used it. Now you purchased another eight drives, all are SAS drives of one TB, and you are creating one more logical drive called two and uh, using RAID 5. Now, how much space you will get? You will get seven TB logical drive. Okay, if you format this drive using VMFS, again, I'm saying VMFS 6, right? You will format the logical drive using VMFS 6 and you can create one more data store, which will be a 7 TB. So, like this, you can, with this, with this server, in this example, if you create the data stores, you will see three data stores in the picture. One is 140 GB, another one is 5 TB, not exactly 5 TB, 4.99 TB something. Another is 7 TB, not exactly 7 TB, 6.96 TB or something. Overhead will be gone right after you format. Right? Agree or disagree? Okay. 
similarly if you go to my my original lab i have a three disk not that logical drives it is desktop it doesn't have any write controller it is standalone drives okay standalone three drives three data stores okay same example which i have explained you will see you can give any name just for my understanding i gave a name like this you can give data store one data store two data store three okay so data store one 150 gb data store two 5 tb data store three 7 tb you will see here in this example i'm trying what i'm explaining okay every data store is formatted with file system called vmfs file system you agree on this point okay okay now whenever you format the raw drive whenever you format the raw drive you will get a data store into picture in your lab if i go back just to take an example of your new host doesn't have any data stores without data stores you cannot build the vms because vms what is vm again set of files i explained you in the second class vmdk vmsn vm vmx vmx auxiliary logs nvram all these files will be there you will have all these files and you will save it in somewhere that somewhere is data store that data store is formatted with vmfs vmfs will use the logic and it will format the raw driver, raw disk in the back end that raw disk is actually holding the data clear on this yes now in this picture you have a host but it doesn't have any data stores let's see if it has any raw devices in the back end or not a logical drive or a physical drive logical drive means using raid physical drive means raw device you don't, you don't it doesn't have any you doesn't have any raid controller just like my desktop but you will not use it in your real time desktops and other th other stuff is excluded in real time so what you will do you will always see logical drives in your picture how to check go to configure okay storage devices okay you will see some of these devices are showing up cd rom okay leave it i don't require cd rom and you see there is one 2 gb disk which i cannot use it there is one 4 gb disk which i can use it there is another 8 gb disk which i can use it there are three drives three physical drives imagine these are physical drives in live example okay but in this picture in this picture which i have explained you should see 140 you should see 5 tb you should see 7 tb in the picture here instead of 8 7 tb instead of 4 5 tb instead of 2 gb uh, 140 gb this is what the size is it should show it should show here in in my example i explain clear yes okay so can i use this 8 gb disk 8 gb raw disk and format it and use it you can use it right okay how to use it go to host go to host right click right click storage new data store okay now you have a multiple ways to format you can create a virtual data store storage container connected to so this is different nfs volumes this is again different i'll explain later and create a vmfs data store on a lun or a disk i have a local disk so i will use vmfs data store to format next it will show you all the disk which one i need to format i'll say boss i will select this 8 gb one okay what is the name i should give it is easy for me to understand local 8 gb disk is the name local 8 gb disk is the name i'm giving next you have a two ty two types of file system formats it will also support the latest one it will also support the legacy one okay so i will take the new one vmfs 6 and you'll see it will be formatted 8 gb will be formatted and the block size is 1 mb fine finish 
that's it it is formatted and the data store is created now you click on this host go to data stores you will see local 8gb is formatted with vmfs6 format and after format after you format 7.75 gb is the disk size out of 8gb overhead is gone and free 6.34 and some rest of the space is in reserve for data store internal purpose okay so if you format 8 gb you got 6.3 gb usable space in real time if you format 7 tb you will get somewhere around 6.9 tb 6.8 tb something okay this you technically call it as a data store inside this data store you will store your virtual machines Understood? Any confusion? Any questions on this? No, sir. Hmm? Okay. Now, my only question is this data store is 90% full. This data store is 90% full. This data store is 90% full. Okay. And your, your manager or your business owner asked you to create a new VMs. If you want to create a new VM, you must have a space. Do you have a space? I said 90% more than 90% is used. And you don't have any additional space to create a VM. Now what you will do? You go and purchase new hard drive, right? Yes. Okay. But the condition is this this physical server will support maximum 16 drives. 16 drives are already inserted. If you purchase additional drives, where you will insert? Hmm? Uh, you got my question possible. now? Yes, yes. Then, then what you will do? Customer is saying, I need a VM. Please, can you please help me? But these, you don't have a space. Even if you purchase the hard drives, you can purchase it at any point of time, but you don't have a space to insert or you don't have a slots to insert the drives. You are, you are running out of slots, means your local storage on the system is completely full. Okay, so in short, whatever the discussion we had, we will never use in your real time just for your understanding i have explained you okay okay means local storage is rarely recommended for uses you can use it i'm not saying you cannot use it you can use it that is what we are doing since last 10 days but this we will not use it in real time real time you will use network storage Basically, there are two types of storage, local storage and network storage. So, so far we discussed local storage. Tomorrow we will discuss network storage. Why we need a network storage? Okay, why can't we use the local storage? That also we'll discuss tomorrow. Understood? Yes. Hmm? But... The basics must be clear. That is the reason why I explained you the how how it how the local storage works, how you can use it for your day to day and stuff. But in real time, we never use local storage. Please remember. Okay, sir. Okay. So I'll stop here. Tomorrow we'll start start the discussion on network storage. Okay. If you want to do some R and D, you can search for these things. Can search about these two. Yes, sir. Okay. We'll we'll discuss more in detail in to, in tomorrow's or next coming few sessions. At least five or six sessions, we will discuss these concepts. Okay, sir. Okay. okay. Yeah. Let me stop here. We'll catch up tomorrow, same time. Thank you. Thank you, sir.